Hej. Oh, all the <laughs> <laughs> do, do you need to do a shot? No, you can't. No, 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 no. You want to do weed? Uh, you want to no, do weed? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little crack, a little sugar booger? A little yeah. run. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody said that's an unnamed person in the crew. They were like, hey, in the bathroom, too. I was like, hey, you guys uh, having a good time? You want a little... <laughs> and he said, he was there. <laughs> no, <laughs> my word. Right. How crass. What? Good word. I like that word. Thank you. Episode 85. Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco. What's he doing with himself these days? Tweeting. Nah. He's still out here? His daughter be out on the track. She's fast. I think I was saying the track. No, track. She's fast. Like, she in, like in she'll college? Park- I think she's like in high school. It's dope. Yeah, he be posting on Instagram and stuff. Jeans, good jeans. Yeah. That's what it is. Welcome to another episode of Please <laughs> Sorry, Delete This. That's a good term, boy. <laughs> Darren didn't do, do so track, well. so you don't get it. Jen did track I, for like I, a day. I, I two practiced weeks. with you guys. Two weeks. Two did weeks. You? I practiced with you guys a couple of times. You was like running? Oh, yeah. You a whole lot. I, no, I'm serious. <laughs> ran up the stairs, everything. Like for like a couple of days. That's what made oh. me not want to do it. The run up the bleaches. I don't bleaches. know why I did. I was, uh, in the building. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, doing this, Jenny said, We're uh-uh. not doing this, guys. We're not doing this. Okay. <laughs> the white woman came out. <laughs> We're, not, <laughs> We're not doing this. Okay. There's no more scones. No. I <laughs> All right. All right. I got my latte and <laughs> I'm ready to go. And you guys are not going to derail me. Okay. Yo, man's really <laughs> transforming. You know, in front of our eyes, man's just. <laughs> I know. If you look, if you look from episode one to now. It, it's a gradual, it's a gradual transformation. Uh, in the building, we have Darren, Bim, Genevieve. Hello, folks. What up? Fuck is cracking. You know yo. what? I'm gonna identify as Bim this episode. So, wow. I don't know <laughs> to be offended or not. So I'm gonna ask. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna identify as you. He's wearing a foolish boy switch. There we go. Is that why? Mm. No. Well, now it is. Oh, yep. all right. So I'm not Darren this episode. I, you please refer to me as Bim. So start That's over. confusing. Start over. So in the base, you have you have to do it. But I'm in not the, you. Okay, in the basement, <laughs> we have Bim. Bim. <laughs> Genevieve. <laughs> hey. Let me put my leg up, too. Yeah, put oh, your leg wow. up. The right was the wrong leg. Put oh, the right leg up. <laughs> Bring me your foot. <laughs> I don't know. She is annoying me. Let me tell you, that part killed me. Anyways, folks, how you doing? Cooling, man. How my peoples, man? I'm chilling, man. I want some more apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here for this. I keep looking at the little... Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, not, it's a sad and thing. I'm like, damn, that shit was so you good. You ain't trying to get like all the crevices out of that little joint? <laughs> like his toothpaste? Yeah. I'm... <laughs> Jen, I, I was a little Capri Sun pack. <laughs> Jen, I know you heard me and Bim giggling like little schoolgirls. You see that video of the woman fighting at McDonald's? <laughs> she doesn't watch violence. Okay. I don't. So you just hit the. But ain't we doing a podcast right now? Yeah, we yeah are. for the listeners, uh, Darren's showing Jen the clip. So there's a Our video. Bim is showing Jen the clip of uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, woman you, who was fighting at McDonald's and got a blender thrown a at her blend, face. A whole blender. <laughs> Fucking hoisted at her face. It busted her Hurled. whole eye up, yo. Golly. <laughs> she just seen the blender come before her face. Golly. How, how mad you got to be if somebody throw a blender? <laughs> oh, I feel like that escalated too quick. I didn't really have quick. blenders at McDonald's. <laughs> For the smoothie stuff. Oh, So I feel, like, I feel like I don't know how quickly I'm going to get to that blender throw level. I may like throw this. Okay. The woman apparently was upset about something. She had a bag of something. She threw it at the coworker, And she, I think she picked up something else on the counter, light. And threw out the coworker He's as well. It was something light. I'm gonna pick up the bag and throw it back in her face, right? You you gotta say some pretty pretty something pretty angry. Like you have to make me. That worker was already on the ledge. Yes. Before that woman came in. <laughs> yes. Look, I saw the clip. I slowed it down. I think she didn't just throw the top of the blender. I think she, she threw pulled the, whole... the bitch out the <laughs> plug. <laughs> yeah. Threw the whole base and top yeah. of the bitch. <laughs> How mad are you? Rush hour had just slowed down. Yeah. She's probably looking at her her sandwich person probably just walked out. Yeah, and we don't know if it's a guy or girl. The person who threw the blender. That's a woman. <laughs> you think <Okay>. so? <laughs> yeah. I'm rolling. No, I don't I'm know. I, I think a guy would just swing. And plus the person that they were arguing with was a woman. I don't think a man would throw a blender at a woman yeah, in I would McDonald's. Hold oh, well, so I'm gonna go with the woman. Oh damn. Yeah. I'm really like offensive. My man, I was like, maybe it was a gay man. <gasps> Yeah, I know. You know, I, that's hey, also right? possible. Right. So, right. I, 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 they're scrappy. Right. They'll tell you quick. I'm gonna let Jen, we should just let Jen say flagrant stuff because they won't attack her. I think. Oh, that was fast. What do you mean? 
I don't want to get attacked. <laughs> behalf of Nor do we, but you're more, you're less likely. Wow. Well, anyways, uh, we'll try to repost the video on our uh, Instagram. Yeah, we got some fun with that. <laughs> yes. She, she Stupid that lady. <laughs> like you are, bothering you those are being poor, annoying. Those poor, hardworking people. I wonder what they were fighting. W- well, okay, so so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's pause on the worker side. <laughs> As a customer, what is going to make you that upset that you march back into McDonald's and th- oh, <laughs> Jen and I worked in fast food. We, we know. I know, no, no, but on the customer side, Jen, I know. We know. Okay, Jen, well, give me yours what? that you've encountered. I mean, I worked in fast food too, so you make them come back in angry. Yeah. The m- most often it was because somebody put pickle on a sandwich and they asked for no pickle. Oh, I hated that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, cold fries will bring somebody. Oh my god, upset. cold fries! This one lady, we really pissed her off, and she used to come all the time. She come to the drive through, right? I still remember this shit. She came to Expressions a few years ago, <laughs> and I told her <laughs> that I remembered her. <laughs> okay. Oh man. She would always come, and she was a really nice lady, super nice. She would always come to the drive through and ask for French fries, no salt. Mm-hmm. You know why people do this, right? Yeah, just make sure they get fresh. the fresh batch. Yeah, yeah, hose. And we knew that. <laughs> and every day we'd make her a fresh batch. But it, small fries are tough because you get got to use a scoop. She would get a bag. small small fry with no salt. With no- you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At least get the the big John. We gotta make a whole basket of fries for this. Just for your tiny dish. And then we gotta burn our hands, put <laughs> in there with the Your <laughs> dish. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So she wanted seven fries fresh. <laughs> Cut up this whole potato. <laughs> Cut this whole potato for a, a I want two fingerfuls. One sixteenth wow. of a fucking potato. Right. Unsalted. It's unsalted. And then ask for a pack of salt. Right. So Are you she would ask for salt? I don't remember. I, oh, I, I feel like she did though. Because she was memorable. I feel like she would ask for fries with salt and ask for salt. <laughs> Which would piss me off. But we were used to it because she came yeah, all the time. Like, but, okay, so was it the same at your joint? Because at my McDonald's, when somebody asked for no salt, we would either make the batch and then just take it straight out of the, uh, mm-hmm. the basket and put it that, in. That's what started happening after. Initially, you were we would have to, to clean the whole shit out. Yeah. 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 All the salt out of the, the, the yeah. fry area. Mm-hmm. You could take it right out of the fry later. Yeah. Ooh, so upset. one day she came, but we were being lazy because teenagers, right? Yeah. And we we're like, we could just take some fries that are already in there and drop it back in the oil. <laughs> ah, ah, uh-huh. uh-huh. that came. was your idea. Come on, I don't even know. I feel like uh-huh. it was. No, I feel like it wasn't because I, I, I feel some type of way about not being go together. But as a, as a minute, she's like, whatever. Like, like I don't like make. I think I was in the back counting money or something because like I don't like pe- people's food not being delicious. Mm. I'd rather take longer. And you so, carry that to this day. Continue. I made some bomb <laughs> sandwiches this week. I just wanted. I made a meatball and a sausage sandwich. Where's our own? I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's so, the road? <laughs> anyway, somebody put the fries back in the oil and it took it out. Try to burn I off the salt. They tried to, <laughs> try to burn off the salt. <laughs> and put it in the bag and she came back hotter than the fries, boy. <laughs> she was big mad. Listen, she probably would have been that lady in that video. Because mm. you know what happens to fries that are already cooked and cold and you put them back in the oil? Mm. They become so soggy and they oh, taste yeah. like they dirt. Just, they're they're uh. soaking up all that oil already. So they're fake uh. hot? Because uh. they didn't put them in for the same four minutes or whatever it nah, takes. They, they only put them in for like a minute. So that's just, you're just soaking them at this <laughs> right, point. Right. <laughs> so they just, they, <laughs> you take a bite and this oil comes out. <laughs> so I, that would make me angry enough to throw See? a So a then here I am. Now I'm the supervisor. I got to come out and deal with this shit. But yeah, I'm sorry once again. She's a really nice lady. <laughs> She's a black lady. <laughs> um, I've also seen people uh, come back if they got the wrong change. Um, but like Jen said, if there was a consistent issue, the thing people like every time I fucking come here, mm-hmm. you put ketchup when I say Some no ketchup. ketchup. Stop coming here. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> How long did you work in fast food? I, was gonna I say, worked for a couple years. I was gonna oh, say you, you so, worked at. You was in the back though. No, I, I did all the positions. You hey, talking yeah. to people? Yeah, I talked to the people. In the position? <laughs> <laughs> you and Wendy in the position. <laughs> Listen. Oh, yeah, you did have a long stretch at Wendy. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, I, had a good, I had a good, uh, uh, I'm going to say like three years. Oh, oh that was longer than my time at McBims. Oh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. McBims. Yeah. But I, I can't say I've ever, we've had mad people come through, but none that was like throwing shit at us. No. And none that I, I mean, and, man, the, the hot. <laughs> I wish I could see the other side. I want to see what the worker was doing. Like I'm telling you, they were they were just already pissed off because usually you have a high tolerance for that shit if you work the front counter. Yeah, you know yeah, people yeah. are rude, mm. yeah. but to get to the point where you're yeah, like, yeah. I right, you threw your shit. Oh, you threw something. I right, you know what, bitch? 
A whole bl- and she didn't just toss it. Fucking boom! What? There was some velocity. <laughs> the one was like, ah, <laughs> shit! Was one of them to like, the ah, ground. Right. Right. Anime moves. God, like, yo, the woman got up like. Blender was all like, oh my god. Speaking of what would you do? I saw a video today. Oh boy. No, yesterday. So, the video was from the vantage point of some guys that are in um, a building up high. Okay. So they they're filming it from their phone or whatever. There's a chain of people holding hands across oh, the street. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Like so, this. Darren, you've seen this, I yes. suppose. And they're blocking traffic. Yes, so it's, it's one of those protests. It's, oh. <laughs> but it's like eight people. And it's like rush hour. I, I want to say it, was, it had to be New York. Yeah, I feel like it was in the morning. And it looked like mm. like New York or another so major city. So they were blocking city. some heavy traffic. It was like five lanes across. Oh, fuck. They were mm. just blocking and they have a sign. Mm. And I don't mm. know what they were protesting. They, mm-hmm. they look like the kind of people that shouldn't be protesting. Like everything should be fine in your world, yeah. and <laughs> you're blocking traffic. Yeah. Now, if you're in the car that's right in front of them, what do you do? Because you can't hit them. No, you're right. not, you, morally, you you're not supposed to hit them. hit them. Finally, one guy got like, t- tired of it. He got out of his car, snatched the sign, threw it over the fence. He's like, "People gotta go to work." Did but, they disperse at all? No. I don't think, well, know. so the way they were. The, the banner was in the middle of the road, ah, okay. and they were holding it. Ah. So once the banner came out, it was a, there was a hole. Ah. So they kind of like, like, now you yeah. better move. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have a backup plan? No. <laughs> That's kind of weak. That they just, that That's what I'm day. saying. It was like eight people. It wasn't really a protest. <laughs> just eight a- assholes want to stop traffic. <laughs> so I, I always wonder, I, I am not that brave to do. And there's nothing I care about that I'm going to put my body in front of a moving vehicle. Don't say that. Of course, there's something there is okay, but I haven't I haven't come to that, and I feel like there might be (laughs) there might be better ways of protesting than putting my body in front of a car. (laughs) Help me, Jesus, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but this. Baby, shut up! Shut up, bitch. What? What did I say wrong? I won't say. Sorry, Jen. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. He means well, P. I swear. (laughs) What, guys? (laughs) What did I, say? I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. He said he means well. <clears throat> oh, fuck. So, yes. <clears throat> you mean there's no cause? There's no cause. There you go. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, folks. They should know me by now. 85 episodes in. Y'all should know what I meant. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I got I got Jen and Bim both speaking my language. Whenever I, I send a stupid text and I forget like four words and I go to correct myself, Jen will be like, yeah, we know what you meant. Don't worry about it. Look at this piece of garbage crying. Who's that? Guy. Oh, the wife sent that to you? <laughs> yeah. Said help. You just, you just... I called my kid a piece of garbage. I, I was going to say, that. you said that on the mic. Oh. Well, it's cool. We were talking about that. The other t- Kai has, hasn't proven himself yet. <laughs> so you got to earn like respect. In the world, so yeah, you're cute, but okay. I mean, what else and... you got to the table? What else you bring to the table? Bro? Well, you're like an Instagram chick, like okay. Ooh. <laughs> compare my son to an Instagram chick, because yeah. and I call him Mister Garbage. He gets it from his white mama. Ah! <laughs> That's you, Miss Darren. Because I see yeah, nothing wrong here <laughs> until you start like walking and doing cute, helpful things. Eh, you're just a kid. You're cute, and I gotta take care of you because okay. I have to. Because I have to. <laughs> So, it's one who don't even know you said so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so back to um, people putting their bodies in front of moving cars. Uh, it's not necessary. There are other ways to protest. Don't put your body in front of sh- people like that. Now, I will say there was an instance at one of the ACIs or the jail. I don't know if you heard this. In Rhode Island. In Rhode Island. That's completely different. That's, yes. What they did. They were, same protests but in the middle. I think they, they were, were protesting the... No, um, bad treatment of the immigrants at the detention center yes. in Central mm. Falls. So at the ACI, though? No, at Central Falls. Oh, okay. Because um, it was during the time when they were um, trying to like raid people's homes oh. and send them like ice raids or whatever. Did that happen in CF? Mm-hmm. So even oh, worse, so they were blocking the doors so that um, the shift change can happen. And um, one of the workers got in a big-ass truck and ran the motherfuckers over. In Rhode Island? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it was a, there was, it was an update today, I think. Um, yeah, that's what made me think he, about it. Um, he didn't get any, uh, no charge. No, yeah, yeah. They said, when did this happen? It was like a couple months ago. ago what the yeah. fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll that's try- different. They were they were <clears throat> protesting a cause, one, and two, they weren't blocking traffic. They were blocking a parking lot. Like, they, yes. You yes. know, so that's... They went on the highway. So, I mean, if a, pro- a purpose of a protest is supposed to be disruptive, right? Mm-hmm. Um, 
when the the boycotting of the buses happened was to interrupt the cash flow of the the bus company they did that for months it wasn't just like a one day thing they really did it so that they impacted the pockets of the the people Mm. which in turn would interrupt uh uh impact the workers but you know that's the purpose right because you want to change so how do you uh effectively protest while still getting impact like is that why nowadays <clears throat> protests don't really lead to nothing because people do it so. for a day and then that's it well, one uh, it, it is short because next week we have another problem that we need yes. to protest and then there's next something week, behind it is all you know it's it's constantly changing <clears throat> very very quickly mm. and two things like boycotts can't really work because there's money coming from so many directions nowadays that even if one big chunk of your revenue source goes away, you still have a hundred other ones. Yeah, you got something to yeah. fall back on. And yeah, so. <clears throat> like that's when what, they, okay, like, no, 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 you got, you got. It's just like when they did the protests at um, Rhode Island Hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, they did it for three days. Oh, the and strike or the protest? The, the strike. Okay. I apologize. Yeah. Um, but they did that for a couple of days because that's all they could really do. And during that time, the company just got temporary workers. Scabs, in the building. Yeah. yeah. So, because yeah. it's. And that's why sometimes I say people are full of shit. Sometimes I say it in jest, but I really mean it. Because if you are really about that cause, you don't stop until you actually see the change. It's not like a, a few hours of discomfort for the company or, you know, a few games you just don't watch. You do shit that really impacts them. Like, people aren't... Like, imagine if, like, the bus situation was now. How many people would really not ride Ripta until... Not uh, for one day or for one week, like until mm-hmm. there was change. Because mm-hmm. we, we do that. Like, mm-hmm. wasn't there one where all the um, businesses owned by not like by foreigners on Broad Street could close for a day? Yeah, that's a big impact. Mm-hmm. But it's for it's one, one day. day. It's only one day. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, I know that I, I can get my on tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah, yeah. oh, it's closed Monday. Uh, well, we'll try again tomorrow. Exactly. But when you really start to impact people and really start to impact things, and people are like, "There's, there's like, oh, okay, we need to resolve this." Man, the government knows people are full of shit. The police force knows people are full of shit. All right, you'll do it for a little bit, and then you, you'll stop. And then, yeah, you'll stop. When your pockets start to hurt, or well, that person gets on without you, yeah. Then how yeah. much do you really care? Are you going to impact your own life to where you got to walk to work, to where you got to carpool to work? Or whatever, mm. until they fix this problem. Could you, you imagine? Mm. Right? Mm. But who am I, man? I don't know shit. I got one a, leg. A brother with a blue sweater on. <laughs> brother with a blue sweater and a Colts hat on. Hey, Number one at AFC South. Hey. Watch us go on an eight game losing streak. Since I won this goddamn. <laughs> 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 well, fuck it. NBA back. Hey, I'm hot. Everybody's I'm so, elated. I'm so hyped. Yeah, I'm so, elated. Darren, you don't watch basketball. I don't, but I, I like seeing everybody happy. Oh, I'm so happy. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't watch basketball either, but I said this year I wanted to try. And then, Me too. You already failed then. You should have watched Opening Day at least. I tried to watch. I watched a little bit of Opening Day. No, I didn't. Yeah, the Celtics, you're a Celtics fan, right? Celtics, uh, when I when I'm a fan, I guess I'm a Celtics fan. I like rooting for them. Yeah, they played yesterday. It I saw right. they played the Philadelphia 76ers. See, yeah. see, <laughs> see. It was on ESPN. See. You did good. Thank you. I just didn't watch the game all really. I watched a little bit and I went to bed. Yeah, it'd be oh, because I'm Laker fan. But they come out at 10:30. Listen, <laughs> but this new Laker team, I don't, I don't like it. I don't. I have to grow to like uh, gr- a Laker team. I have to grow with it. They grow on me. Yeah. So, you know, even with the the ball kid, LeVar Ball, he we drafted him. I was like, okay, let me get used to him. Mm-hmm. But now we got Braun wasn't there. Nope. Last year he came on board. Anthony Davis wasn't there, came nope. on board. Rajon Rondo came on board. So I'm like, what Rondo. the fuck team is this? Yeah, so it's just a bunch of people. Bad news bears. Yeah, so I'm trying to like <laughs> actually like them. I'm a Laker fan, but I don't know you niggas. <laughs> like, are you even going to be here next year? Like, yeah. No, they're not. Yeah, so. Uh, speaking of LeBron, something came up with him, and I, I keep telling myself to look it up, but you know. The China thing? Yeah, what is that about? Yeah, help. Okay, so I'm only going based on what I heard on another podcast okay. that doesn't check facts. So, <laughs> us. So, oh, us. So you double didn't check facts. Wow, that is impressive. I didn't do that. This is me. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> While you do, I'm just going to look for it. Jen, do that, please. So what's going on? <laughs> What's going on in China right now, mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of human rights violations. Yes. At least our standards, because China, you know, they go by their own fucking Protests, another protest. So uh, I think there was something around democracy, but also mm-hmm. um, the Muslim population in China, there are folks being locked up in uh, camps. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, like for real being snatched <clears throat> up and locked up in camps. I forget what they're called, um, but the, so they're being violated. 
And these protests have actually been going on for months um, out in China. So all these violations are taking place. Um, people are getting locked up. I think maybe there actually were a couple of casualties. But um, people are like, yo, it's not right. You can't just lock people up because of their religious beliefs and whatnot. So there was the so the NBA does big business with China. Uh, a lot of Chinese fans, they, uh, they had some preseason games out in China. They've been doing it for years. Um, and there's a huge Chinese population of uh, um, fans that watch the NBA and spend money on Nikes, which is made in China. Right. So I, I think someone said uh, like 50 or 60 percent of Nike's revenue comes from China. So now you have the NBA, which generates sneakers. And this tension because someone from the Houston Rockets said um, something about... Um, Justice, uh, justice in China, or for the Chinese that are being oppressed. Okay. He gave a message of support to protesters in Hong Kong who yeah. are currently involved in demonstrations that began in opposition to controversial proposed legislation. And what was the guy's name? Uh, <clears throat> Daryl Dar Morey. Daryl Morey. Yes, thank you. He is the general manager of the Houston Rockets. Thank you. So now, LeBron made a comment about that, talking, uh, saying something along the lines of. Uh, you know, people should research things maybe before they talk because they don't know how it can impact other people, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Which, for LeBron, who stood for social justice, mm. Black Lives Matter and all mm. of that, you got people being violated mm -hmm. and people are speculating, hey, you're only saying that because now if China says fuck the NBA because they said we don't want any preseason games over here. It hurts your pockets. It hurts your pockets. LeBron has a popular sneaker. I'm actually wearing one of his pairs now. China, that's mm. big. That's big money. Mm. So, you make that statement. You care about the bottom line. You don't care about people the way you're coming across. Uh. Then LeBron made another comment, oh. trying to clean it up a little bit. And, didn't, and didn't people were like, "Hey, we ain't buying it. You're full of shit." Yeah. So another apology gone wrong. Selective activism. Mm. It's like, what do you? How much do you really care about shit? Mm. That same podcast. It's um. Uh, brilliant idiots and uh, oh yeah, I keep seeing them on our yeah. timeline. I'm mean to uh, listen to them. Yeah, that Charlemagne the God and uh, Andrew Schultz. Yes, and he also has another one called Flagrant Two, where they talk about sports a little bit. But um, so he talks about selective uh, activism. How much do you really care? People care about uh, uh, work conditions and all of that. But we all got cell phones where some kid is uh, uh, you know has to mine. For whatever that that piece of precious metal or rare metal yeah. from another country yeah. has to go into our phones. Yes. So how much do we really care? You know that mm -hmm. the iPhone is made by some got some it. kids in a sweatshop or got something it, like that. It. You know what I mean? So you know, <clears throat> you got just don't say shit because I'd be S somebody's I, gonna have a problem with it one way or another. Yeah, because I care about people, obviously. Yes. But how much do I care about the people in China? Eh. <laughs> if I'm being honest, Jen, keep it a buck, right? It's what, like who was it that said? Um, People be like, oh, they care so much about gorillas, but if they got rid of all the gorillas I feel like in the a world, joke is coming. <laughs> you know, like, if somebody one day just got rid of all the gorillas in the world, would it really impact your life? Thank you. If we're being honest, of course, deep down we're like, yo, do the right thing and, you and all of them into life. But will it impact me? If in China they kept doing wrong, yeah, I'm still here. Hmm. Now you wouldn't want us to trickle down. But if we're keeping it a buck, if you really care. Just like the protest thing we were talking about, are you going to impact your own life to try yeah, to change? Than cause. Right, and will those same people do the same for you? Mm. How many of those folks over there were screaming "Black Lives Matter" or other mm. shit around the um, uh, what's the <clears throat> Second Amendment, whatever the gun shit is? Like, no, I, I get it. Yeah, you know I mean, I you can only saying. care so much, man. It's just exhausting. So I think it, I think it's not so much that you cannot care, or because it doesn't affect you. I think it's kind of like. There's a lot going on on our side as well. To be, I'd be able to. I can. I can say that you know I care for that cause, and I, I hope that it works out. It works out yeah. for you guys. And yes, to be honest, it doesn't impact me at really what happens, yay or nay, for you guys. Yeah. But still, as a human, I care for you guys and hope it works out. Yeah, and that was part of <clears throat> Brian's cleanup a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, you know. I can't research everything. I got my own <laughs> stuff going on here. I got a school that I built in Akron, which yeah, is true. Well, yes. Which is why you shouldn't have said shit Anything to in begin the first with. Place. Yes. <laughs> you know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Focus yes. on your shit. Yes. Leave them over there. Like, yo, mm -hmm. God bless. I hope y'all do okay. Yes, yes. That's yes. it. Don't I hope it works out. Yeah, just leave it alone. Like, but it's pretty impactful what's going on over there, though. It's it's significant. For them. For them. It's so significant. But then like, as people, we care about people. We hope things work out, mm -hmm. but that's the extent. I'm not going to, what can I do? Really? So wait, so because somebody from the Houston Rockets 
tweeted in support of the protesters. Yep. There's backlash. The Chinese government don't fuck around. I understand it's that. It's propaganda. That's crazy. This NBA oh. that has a huge influence, and they're speaking in uh, uh, in support of those folks that were allegedly doing the um, injustice too. We can't have that. Nah, no, nah, we got to keep the narrative that we're doing the right thing. Mm. Yeah, they don't want to fuck that up. So you, NBA, all right, you're out. You can't cooperate, you're out. That's wild. Mm. Yeah, dictatorship, man. That's how it roll. Mm. Darren, if, if one of your children, if Carter's like, we're not going to listen to daddy. None of us. <laughs> you shut them down. Fuck out. Yeah. On the porch. Yeah, that's what you put them in the concentration camp. <laughs> I was ready like to kick this kid out the other day. <laughs> what he did? He was being annoying. He's uh, didn't want to pick up his little foamy toys. He could take them all out of the, the little bag. Okay, it's time to clean them up. Hmm. So I was like, yo, I'm picking them up, throwing them in the garbage. I got my little garbage bag. I've always heard my parents make this threat. I was going to say, you but I've never walked seen to another act level of dad. Is yes, it? yes. I got me a garbage bag. The girls were like, are you okay, dad? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Open my garbage bags, I was stuffing them in there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And now he's like, oh no. Like, what do I do? How do I tell him to stop? I know. I'll have a meltdown. Proceed to have a meltdown for 20 minutes. I was like, go outside. Go. Go outside. What'd he's, you do with the stuff, the foam stuff, though? It's still sitting on the porch. In the garbage bag or mm-hmm. in the porch, though? No, it's, on, it's in the garbage bag on the porch because they're going to come back in the house. Does he think you threw him out? Yes. Never give him back to him. I shouldn't. He can't win. He can't. Don't let him win. But his mother, she's going to pull rank soon. You know what? I love women. Oh, boy. I love moms. Yes. But I was watching a show yes. uh, on Netflix, actually, called Raising Dion. Have you heard of it? Anyone? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have, have you watched any watched of it? watched a couple episodes. What would you think so far? It's, uh, it seems a little corny, but all right. It's, it's, it's corny. Uh, like, the plot is corny. Yeah, but keep going mm. because, oh. It gets better? Oh. She's so pretty. She's pretty. The, his mom? Yeah, the mom. Yeah, she's okay. I yeah. like the sister. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, But in the show. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Uh, the the Godfather says to the kid, um, that's why moms. At some point, he says that's why moms are never in like comic books, because she, mm-hmm. she won't. Oh, in superhero mm-hmm, comic books, mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. she won't mm-hmm. let the kid. She won't get it. Learn like go yes. through the hard times yes. to really learn and yes. and struggle with the skill and all of that stuff. Space. And then I said, oh shoot, it's like my life because I'm hurt. But there's a rehab necessary. I have to push myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, my mom, my lady, sit down. Take it Don't easy. Do anything. Can I do this for you? Can I? Do? They mean well, but it it kind of holds the progress. It's the nurture. They, they it's coddle. the nurture. So yeah. in that, I that would kind of slow up my progress mm-hmm. because I need to push myself. Dion wouldn't have been able to get nice if he didn't get pushed. Mm-hmm. And then for Carter. He's going to have more meltdowns if you give him the stuff. So it's gone. Me, yeah, push him out the house. That's what you're saying. That's what no, I hear. I ain't saying that. Push out. the toys out the oh, house. Oh, toys, oh, Darren. Oh. Keep up. I was, yeah. No, I was, I was looking for a cause to push him out the no. house. No. Or you dump the toys all over the yard, mm. all over the yard, and say, if you want them, you pick, pick them up and everyone up and put them back where they're supposed to be. And then you learn how to pick Darren, them up. Darren, see? <laughs> that's, see? Good that's how you do it. sounds amazing. My white uh, neighbor's going to be upset. I'm, I'm saying, if he really wants it, he has to learn. That's how you do it. I can't wait. Joe Jackson in the no nope, no nope, <laughs> no nope. <laughs> Joe <laughs> Jackson. <Nope. laughs> Hold on, y'all nope. ain't even let me land. Nah. <laughs> Joe Jackson. Joe Jackson. <laughs> Joe Jackson. <laughs> you can't sing his name. Joe Jackson. I'm here, I'm here with you, Judd. In the Jackson Family movie, you remember when it came? I was out? just talking about that movie yesterday. Come on. Okay. Do you remember the scene? One of the brothers. Did something wrong. Came home late. He's out there fucking. With the girls. Mm-hmm. With the girls. And he to- had to move that pile of cinder blocks mm-hmm. from one side of the yard mm-hmm. to the other side of the yard. Mm-hmm. Took the kid all the way till nighttime. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of stuff you have to do. Mm-hmm. And look at the greatness that came from it. So, I'm not going to talk about the other so stuff. I say, so, <laughs> I'm so, leaving that out. So make him pick up toys that move cinder blocks? Is that what I hear? Leave the cinder blocks out until he's old enough to lift it. Uh, you understand okay. what I'm saying? Right. But the toys... <laughs> <laughs> but the toys... He has to understand. You put the stuff back where you got it from. Dump them everywhere in the yard. Have you had this? <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. 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 You, know what? you know You know how big that is yard? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, Goddamn Easter egg hunt out this bitch. <laughs> So in my head, I picture his yard and his porch, and I just picture like him walking outside, like throwing them off the porch, yes. like get them, and yeah. then going back in the house in his room and shutting the door. Yeah, the kid just like, and you better not go in that street. <laughs> 
but dad, we don't have a sidewalk. We're right against the street. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Parent of the year award goes to. You know what it is? I couldn't beat Dylan, right? I beat him once. And I felt bad after. I remember. You told me. So I couldn't anymore. So like one of the punishments, right? Because his mother told me he was acting. I was like when he's three. She would video chat me or, or send a video with him wilding out in the kitchen, all that stuff. So okay. Our thing is always when, because we, we had a long drive from Connecticut. Yeah. We listen to music in the car. We rap. We sing, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Silent car ride the whole way. Oh, mm. man. And I told him when we first got in the car, you want to act up? Okay. And I had him for the whole weekend. You'll see when we get home. Silent car ride the whole way. And I said, as soon as we get in this house, I want you to stand right there in that corner and don't say a word. Mm. Damn. Straight in the corner. Damn, damn. Mind you, I sat down there. I didn't put the TV on. I was doing something else. But I heard him in the corner sniffling. <laughs> and it was breaking my heart. But he stuck got to do it. He stuck to it. Got to do it. Left him in there. I don't know how long <clears throat> he was in that corner. I said, all right, come sit down. Had to talk. Mm. Go back in the corner. Oh. Yeah. Shorter the, the, duration. The Nigerian has come out. <laughs> no, the Nigerian was we, we had to hold rice. our ears yeah. and go up and down or stand with our hands up until our parents said, put your hands down or come. Yeah. 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 So back in the corner, then came back out, had to talk again. Okay. Yeah. Man, you can't raise a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be one. <laughs> you gotta be one. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Which I claim. All right. That is me. All right. <laughs> he is I, and I am him. Jeezy has a new album out. G Easy or Jeezy? G Easy. You listen to G Easy? Sometimes. Darren, you know what G Easy is? Nah. White boy? From nah. the West Coast. With the slick back and the leather jacket. He nah. like the fire. I don't know what any artist looks like. Well, Come on. I think you would like it. Barely. I probably you would. would. Like What's the song, oh. a G Easy song he would know? Uh, G Easy? There's, 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 there's a few. I can't think of them off the top. He's featured on some popular joints. I look. So anywho, G Easy has a new song and his new album. All right. <laughs> and in it he says May twenty fourth, my birthday, I'm a Gemini. I said, Hey You are so hype. You're so hype. <laughs> you are so hype. <laughs> so I I put it on my story yesterday. I said, Gang gang. Gang gang, nigga. <laughs> oh fuck. Um have you listened to G Easy albums before that? <clears throat> I think, um, I think the first one. I never heard a whole album. I don't think I've heard, the, but I think I've like played it, like on. You know, I'll go on title and just play stuff. Is it good though? Does it make good music? This last album's pretty good. I haven't listened to the whole thing, but mm. so far it gives okay. me like how kind of like how Victory Lap made me feel. Oh, mm. but because of West Coast though. Yeah, they, yeah, they got that same vibe. Yeah, yeah. you know. Okay, um, I like it. And then plus he has my birthday in it. <laughs> and when you see him, you wouldn't think this guy makes. He's like an Abercrombie and Fitch looking guy. Mm. Yeah. Can we go back to raising Deanna real quick? Oh I, yeah. <laughs> I actually had a question, not so much about that, but you had said uh, she had the toys in the whole yard. I said yes. Okay. And <laughs> you said that she kind of coddles him for the powers and all that stuff. Yeah. So I was having a weird conversation with, with somebody at work, and we came across the subject of you know uh, women. I'm going to say women that have children. Mm -hmm. Without the dad being in the picture. Oh boy! <clears throat> Not, nothing against them, but the, my question or the question was, uh, obviously, I know there's benefits to having both parents in a child's life, right? But do you feel like it is necessary to have both parents in a child's life if the, if it can if it can happen? I mean, it's... there's nuance to everything. I guess it would be the... optimal to have both parents. In yes. This, if both parents are good and fitting parents mm -hmm. in their lives, that's the optimal situation. But you have there are, there are a lot of people who came up in a single parent household who are mm -hmm. Just still fine, great people. Right. So to answer your question, it's not needed, but it's, it's nice because there's always something whether the kid <clears throat> admits it or not, or or you know or confronts it in any way. Mm -hmm. Like because uh, my son, uh, there's someone mm -hmm. on his baseball team who's adopted. Actually, uh, I won't say his name, okay. but um, he's adopted. Both his parents are white. He's from maybe Puerto Rico or something. So the older he was getting, he was talking to my son and said, man, I kind of wish I knew how my parents were. You know what I'm saying? So at some point, you get curious because you see other kids with their mom and their dad, mm -hmm. and you're like, you, you, who are my parents? Or where's my dad at? Or where's my mom at? Something... <clears throat> 
something activates at some point whether it's, it's it's like shown or impacts their life it may be minimal it may be something that really like uh either impacts them in a negative way unfortunately or drives them to do something great mm -hmm. but something within the child yearns for the knowledge of both parents to know where they're where they're from right and I, trevor noah was talking about something like that too mm. um but just the knowledge of where you're from. And, I, right. and that's what makes me ask the question um, because, like, again, nothing against, you know, if a child in a single parent household, if that's what the house you got to make. Yeah. And, I'm, and, I'm, and you were saying that you you know mothers that are raising, that, that you know, kids that are coming from a single parent household mm -hmm. and they are coming up just fine. Mm -hmm. For sure. So if you compare that child, I know every child is different, but if you compare that child to a child who's raised in a two parent household, you know, like we were joking on Father's Day that there are things that a woman cannot teach. Yeah. I mean, maybe cannot, but not as simply can teach a child. Yeah. It's that, not their nature. <clears throat> yes, that, yeah. a, that a man can. Like one of my friends, can. her son was peeing sitting down for a while mm. because that's what he saw. Mm. So like until he got a little older. But yeah. this outside of the peeing thing, there's only so much you can learn from that. You need both. You need something for your mother. So that's where a good uh, male influence or female influence will okay. come into play or okay. something like that. It's just because of growing up differently, having a different knowledge based on life, a different perspective of the world. Mm. Your child will benefit from having both of those. Ideally from the parents, but hopefully you can get it somewhere else in the village. I was going to say, this reminds me of a whole village type yeah. thing, you know? Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for entertaining me. That bulge, Jen. Give us more. <laughs> I don't know. I had two parents. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm perfect. <laughs> oh. Wow. I don't I'm know actually this. the opposite. I had two parents and I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> well, there's your answer, Darren. That's most of us. <laughs> it can go either way. It's a toss up. Yeah, no, nah, it, I mean, it's you do what you can. Yeah, there's Ooh, always child. there's always, the 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 more obstacles you can remove from your child's life, the better. The better, you, the, the you know, the better chance. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, I, it's only because I've seen it and I've heard it. I wonder where my parents are, or I wonder where my mom is, or my dad. It that question is it's inevitable for your child, whether they say it to you or not. Mm -hmm. It's there, man. Mm -hmm. They think they always. Get, you see everything. Two parents. Mm -hmm. You know whether you're uh, uh, raised and adopted by you know two moms, two dads, or your actual parents, but you wonder where you came from. It's just, it's yeah. just a thing, you know. It, it's in our nature. It's in yeah. our, our DNA to want to know where we came from. You came from to, someone's balls. Yeah, that, come on now. And, and one, come on now. And one lovely. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> and one lovely egg. And one lovely. You know how many swimmers had to hold on, had to get there. Damn. You are the winner of the yeah. swimmers. <laughs> You only went that two days of track practice and you ran. Darren, you were doing this. You were like, I'm not looking. You were doing, you were swimming, Darren. Look at that. I'm not looking. I'm not Darren. I'm Bim. And there was, there was a guy next to you. And he said, mm, get out of here. And there was a girl next to you. And it wasn't bad to beat women at that time. So you hit her and you're like, mm, get out of here. And he said, mm, I'm going to be the winner of this egg. And you swam to the egg. And you said like this. You know? No. No. Me, I was I was behind watching him do all that work, and he just died at the last minute. I was like, "Oh, perfect!" <laughs> <laughs> right here is it. Right here, guys. All right. Cool. You know, my first introduction to um, reproduction oh, was boy. through the movie Baby Talk. Oh, uh, was it Baby Talk? Look who's talking. Look who's talking. Look who's talking. Yeah. Because I don't know if you remember after John Travolta beat those cheeks. They had the, the scene the, yeah, the little, with the sperm. And I was what? like, what does that mean? I, I didn't know either. It just hit me just now. See? And they had this. And he, he's talking. How, how old are you? Young. Little. <laughs> Middle. Uh, probably elementary school. Uh, what did? I'm going to look that up. Local stalking. But um, yeah, so they had the scene with the sperm. And then it's <laughs> repeatedly hitting the egg until it finds a little crevice and gets in there. So that that was my first experience with it, but I didn't even know what that meant. Where are we going? True, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Nah, I don't have a clue. I was so, very sorry. No, go ahead. No, you no. Know. I was gonna say I was just very uh, slow learning about sex and sexual reproduction. And I, I learned in school. You should have watched Look Who's Talking. <clears throat> I should have. 
But I had like the ideas that I had about sex that were very like backwards. I came on 1989. Yeah, so I was definitely too young. Brushy school days. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> six? Was it six? No, well, uh, 80, no, 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 89. Was six. No, was six. I probably saw it in like 92, though. Oh, okay, okay. You know, it took a little yeah, while. A little bit better. They got to go to pay per view. No, yeah. they got to go to VHS. Yep. Yeah. Then they got to go to pay per view. <laughs> then they got to go to HBO and them. Mm-hmm. And then they got to go to regular TV. And I think by then we have the black box or something. So, yeah. Black box is it. That's probably why I seen it. Yeah, but mm. we didn't have because in school we didn't have uh, any of that sex ed stuff. We did, but it was in middle school. Yeah, you had it in middle. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I went to a Catholic uh, one. Maybe that's why they didn't do it. Oh, maybe. Middle school. But yeah, my school we had it, and then that's where we learned all that stuff. And then they told us about deodorant and stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> somebody should have told me that in middle school. I was stanking my first couple of years. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, in a big public school, they're probably like, "We are not sitting here another year <laughs> smelling these seventh graders." Okay. So get all these motherfuckers in a classroom, Got put it. on the video. The video was uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what necessary. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. And but, but in elementary, I was stealing porno mags already. So I was already fucked up when it came to that shit. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. From Cibao Market. I still remember. Hey! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> we walked in to get something after baseball practice. And on the way out of the door to the left on the rack. They wanted you to take I saw that a shit. lovely brown lady with just beautiful something. <laughs> So <laughs> I remember her to this day. So, <laughs> so I love my friend. I stuff it in the back of my him. pants I and my. <laughs> oh, I love, I love me. So I stuck it in the back of my baseball pants and put the shirt over it and took it over. There you go. Yeah, man. <laughs> my dad had a had a van, and um, I remember he picked me up from school one time, and I was like looking around for something, and I found a calendar. The topless lady, and I was like, right in the van, right. And he was like, "Give me that!" And I was like, <laughs> "Damn, which I've been done already." I was like, "Those are boobs." Like, what? Are, oh that was my. That quick, huh? Yeah. Wait, hold on. We always hear about how guys stumble across this shit, Jen. Nope. <clears throat> what do you mean? Nope. I'm still, I'm still operating under the assumption that women don't watch porn. That's right. Women First don't of all, watch porn. I know that's a lie, uh, <laughs> Jen. Know, women don't watch porn. Lie. But I, I, Jen. You gotta relax. Come on. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about porn. But keep it a buck. Oh. You ain't watched like uh, HBO with the blurry lines and shit trying Ooh, to see a nipple? man. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who made the, the thing in our page a long time ago. <clears throat> what are you talking about? What thing? Yeah, she put up a post one time. I made that. I, didn't I was put like, it up. I made that. <laughs> I looked at Oh, you made it. That's I made right. that. I looked at it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> So that was your first experience trying to see like the Spice Channel? Yeah. people being nasty? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the Spice Channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I'm, not, I'm mad you remember it. I'm mad you remember what's called the Spice Channel. Hell yeah, you don't. I, I, don't, I don't remember it's called. It was two just, channels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was seventy-seven 60, and seventy-eight. Come oh, on now, sixty-seven. <laughs> Come on now, hey. No judge. <laughs> but that's all we gotta say about that. <laughs> so you go to you go to that channel, mm-hmm. and then you make sure you have like thirty-six. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You little niggas know nothing. <laughs> y'all can just go to X videos right on your phone and just close oh, on the tab. Y'all don't nah, know. You nah. had to have Disney or Nickelodeon on <laughs> last, last, brother. <laughs> <laughs> on last, Man. and you were watching that, and Man, the I volume was up at like two. Oh, that, you did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you did that. Yes. yes. I know it's from your life experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jen. I made it, and I asked you guys, "Do you get it?" We if I posted one. it. <laughs> I'm gonna repost it now. <laughs> Vine was on two. Yep, mad low. It was like we thought it was late, but it wasn't that late. It, it was, was like nine o'clock, it, right? <laughs> it was like nine thirty. <laughs> just because mommy was upstairs, and we were standing like maybe two inches from the TV, and like he just hear. I don't know what we were looking for. Like you would see maybe a nipple, yeah. maybe, and hear all the noises and. Uh-huh. You got to be creative you know, to try to figure out what's going on in the scene. any slightest, you got to be super creative, but any slightest. Switch, switch. Bro, we got it to, um, at one point we realized that when you switch to the channel, it's clear for like a half a second. Ah. So we would go back, back on, back, back on, back on. Yeah. Fucking, what the fuck? <laughs> That's all we needed. Oh my goodness. You mean to tell me girls are doing that too? That's you, I Jen. made this. <laughs> so, all right. So yes. <laughs> all right. Yo, that's why. Yo, women gotta share their experiences more, man. We I, be feeling like dirt bags. Yo, man, shit. you guys are dirt bags. Come on, don't do that. We're one in the same. So I feel no, like maybe they just didn't masturbate to it. I'm not asking you, Jen. <laughs> I didn't know how to clear. do that until mad long after. Oh. I was just watching just to watch. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I, I, oh my god. Oh my god. He called you a whole maniac with his tone. <laughs> 
<laughs> you fucking say he said he's a sociopath. Yeah. No, but I learned mad long ago. I mean, after that, <laughs> <laughs> it took a while. I was just watching it to be. Oh yeah. my god, they're yeah. naked. We used to watch real sex uh, whenever we had HBO. And they had the taxi cab confessions. Too. Yeah. Taxi cab. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what they were talking about, but I was in there. You know was... how mad I was a whole episode ago about no nobody fucking the backseat or be nasty. I'm like, what the fuck was this for? <laughs> you know, this whole episode and people talking about their life. Ew. I don't, I don't care. What, show me your titties. Oh, oh shit. fuck. I wonder if that's how uh, uh, Bang Bus got there. So, <laughs> so okay. That also makes me wonder. This is how we grew up, and this is how we were introduced to you know all that stuff. Mm. So, my sons will be of age. Like nine, ten years, yeah. maybe. So how are they? With the way technology is going, again, it's not hard to find porn. Yeah. If you have a phone, you you could have a phone and it not be in service. As long as you connect to Wi-Fi, you have access to porn. Makes me wonder how my how my boys are going to be introduced to this. Well, you know your daughters have already watched stuff, right? <sighs> yes. I'm just gonna be a, yes, make yes, it uncomfortable. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it uncomfortable. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. So uh, the same way, like as soon as you, the gateway is a computer. Yes. Oh, Not double entendre, nigga. Hey, hey. 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 come on, come. <laughs> oh shit! Just, yeah. Yeah, there used to be a computer called Gateway. Yeah. Come on. Why would I call it that? And even even more than that, nerd talk. Yeah, IP address is an IP, a mm. subnet, and a gateway. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah. We out here triple. Who's here? Yo. Triple Not entendre. to be mixed up with a throuple. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nah, never that, <laughs> nah, yo. Nah, nah, nah. nah yo. Nah, nah. Not that porn category. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> My so, camp feels like it's doing weird things. <laughs> <you. So, laughs> so, as long as they can get online, it's yeah. right there. Yeah, it's So, there. like my son. I'm so grateful to this day he shares stuff with me and his mom. It's I don't big. know what we did to get blessed with this concept. Big. And it makes me concerned what he's hiding. Because this guy, <laughs> he probably killed somebody already. But. <laughs> he started with a deer underneath the porch and just haven't told you guys yet. All right. So uh, on a baseball trip, his teammate, they were kicking it. And they, he had a cell phone and showed him porn. Yeah. On the bus, he was on the bus with seniors and all of that stuff. And they showing all types of nasty stuff to little kids he would go and tell his mom fuck those seniors first off yeah exactly because they're not mature but they should be they're they, yeah. like because the uh high school and the uh up to eighth grade or whatever they would take the same bus mm. fuck those seniors yeah so he would share so we found out okay he's seen these things and then i took his phone yeah because he said that they looked at it on his phone so i went through his history and i saw it right there There's a yeah. few links so i'm like oh my god but as soon as your kid gets a phone or hears something and they want to search it, that's yeah, that's it. You almost gotta beat them to it. Yeah, honestly, honestly, yeah, it's um, it makes it less scary. It's like the parent. I don't advise anyone do this, but the parent who says, "Hey, come here, have some of this alcohol," ah. <laughs> before you get to high school or yeah. college, yeah, because people oh, that's their first time amongst yeah, friends. Yeah. You don't want to look yes, like a pussy. A, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. gonna keep drinking and. Be, but if you know how nasty it is or what the effects is and what it causes and alcoholism and accidents and all that shit, you're more likely to kind yeah. of turn it down. To be truthful, I'm actually, I'm like, I say it jokingly, but I'm kind of dying to do it to Alexis. Before yeah. she, like, I'd rather her know, okay, this is your your stop point. This is, when you feel like this, this is when you should stop. Yeah. I'd rather her know that with her family to in a safe space than going off to the college with who God knows who else right. that is in the same boat as her and then they both end up in a ditch somewhere. Yeah, you you <clears> kinda <throat> it's almost an advanced education but you gotta be cautious with it obviously. Jen, would you drink with your parents? All right. Not right now she wouldn't. Not, Not ever. ever. <laughs> but if your daddy said before you go to this stupid URI He would never open say this that. Guinness. <laughs> no, open the Guinness <laughs> and drink with your daddy. No. <laughs> No, nah. he would never say that. Are you, nah. ca- are you crazy? No, nah, you're right. African parents wouldn't do it. Hell no. No, nah. Spanish. So parents I just, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a lot of peer pressure. Even like when I was a little kid, like my friend downstairs, her and his other girls smoked cigarettes. Mm. Well, Whoa, let's smoke. I'm, I'm like, no, Ooh. no, because all I could think of was my, my dad would say, "You did what?" <laughs> No, I don't want that. Yeah, that shit. is a good daughter. Right? Yeah. You, you guys are not the cooler than my dad. for her father. Hell You're not yeah. cooler than my dad. Oh, right. hell yeah, I'm not Aww. doing that. Because if he's mad at me, I'll be all sad. <laughs> <laughs> but see, it's because you're a daddy's girl. Yeah. No, but that's how girls operate. Yeah. If if, if I think if it's <clears throat> actually you have two, so yeah, have you two. tell me if yeah. if Celeste will cry tears 
tears upon tears if she knows I'm disappointed in yeah. her. Yeah. Wow. That's and it a, just that's takes me thing. being, yeah, if I'm disappointed at her, yeah. I could bark at her, but if I tell her, like, I'm completely disgusted with you, she, she uh. will... Uh, I want a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I want to break her heart well, with mere words. I could tell Dylan that. Like, hey. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's in. No, like when my dad used to take my keys, I used to be so sad. In high school, you'd be sad? I was in college, nigga. <laughs> I'd be so sad when he'd right. take my keys. Right. What? <laughs> wow. I'd That's call my so brother sad. sobbing. <laughs> Daddy took my keys again. Right. Darren, did you ever care if your parents were disappointed? In you? No. See, <laughs> boys are so different. No, I told I had to tell them that I was pregnant. And my oh, and my what? girlfriend was pregnant at nineteen, and my dad was like, mm-hmm. yeah, "Shit happens." I, I knew. I I'm knew. sure her conversation with her family was way different. Oh, oh I don't even God. get me started because she didn't have the conversation with her parents. I had to have the conversation with her parents. Wait a minute, yo. I uh, we don't have to react. No, to we don't. No. <laughs> No, nah, let's get into it, yo. I mean, we here. Oh, nah, let's get gold into is it. coming. Right, nah, you don't have to do this, sorry. I mean, it's, it's gold not is bad. coming. So you know, I had to talk. To, had to have to talk with my parents. Yep. Hey, this is what it is. Da da da. They were like, ah, oh, like my mom told me she was like disappointed in me, mm. but you know, she wanted better for me. But you know, I gotta be a man. My dad gave me the whole. You gotta be a man. You gotta step up. Blah 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 blah. Right. And I talked to Valerie, and I was like, um, so we got we gotta talk to your parents, <sighs> right? She was like, okay. I'm like, all right, I got to come over Sunday and have to talk with your father. I came over. It was literally the worst day for me to come over because they were in such a happy mood. On a I, Sunday? On a Sunday. After church? After church? <laughs> I don't know. It was they the, only, the, t- it was the only time. Right. They, <laughs> yo, they, they were overjoyed with everything. And they walked in the house and they were like, they were like, wait, oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> time out. You wait until after church to let them know their I daughter listened, been sinning. I listened. <laughs> I didn't wait to have the church. It was like literally like the only time like I need them both there. May I ask what her dad does? Don't say it on the mic. I don't know. I wasn't sure if we could say it. Uh, okay. Don't say it. Don't say it. He goes to church. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll leave it there. <laughs> it was it was pretty shitty of me to do that. Yeah. But, literally, but, literally, but literally, I had no, no other day. I couldn't do it on like a Would Monday. You had a job? Yeah, I had a full time job. I he was nineteen, so yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So can oh, I call fuck. out? I no <laughs> Wednesday. No, so it was oh. like go. So she was like, okay, like when you come over, we'll come down, we'll talk to them. I came. Fam, over. You ain't even go to church with them. No, <laughs> they came over to church, and you just <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they had came home. I just it was like four or something like that. Like four. They had, yeah, whatever. They come to the house. They like, should have oh. went to service with them. No, I don't know. That'd be much worse. Give a testimony. No. <laughs> the Lord is just blessing me. Double, double. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that is just Lord. Listen. The Lord is just added to my life. <laughs> you guys too. You guys. <laughs> You guys are great because this was a, a negative memory for me, and you guys turned it around. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, oh. Darren. I'm sorry. Yeah. Proceed. No, I, was, I walked in the house. They were all happy. You want you want food? And like, no, no. I kind of said to her father, I, I have to talk to you um, over, you know, like kind of privately. My heart is beating. Man, and he fast. was like, oh, okay. I think I stopped breathing. Yeah, so he we walked into the other room. He sat down, and I started to talk. And I remember just looking at his, like looking at the ground, like. You ain't even looking eye to eye like a man. <laughs> Valerie did not come down from her room. Oh, no. So she left me by myself. No, 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 no. By no. myself. This is what makes me upset. No, no, by no, myself. no, 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 no. By myself. Wow. Yo, Bim looks like he wants to go fight her now. Yo, go fight her, yo. Go <laughs> read my eyes and tell people where <laughs> yo, my eyes are I'm, I'll fight her with you, yo. <laughs> this for us and YouTube. You don't tell people <laughs> what my eyes are doing. <laughs> This is for us <laughs> and YouTube. So, oh shit, Ben was uh, like, "What?" So, you know, I, I said, I don't remember what I said to him, but I kind of stumbled around, and I was like, uh, "You know, she's uh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. I'm expecting something. I don't know what I said." And he was just like, "Juju, <laughs> his wife, oh, fuck. come here for a minute. Darren has to tell us something." And meanwhile, you're still by yourself. I'm still by myself, looking at looking at the ground. He says something. I says something to the to her brother and sister. They disappear. So now hey. all the joy that was once warm in the house is now gone. They come in the room, and he goes, "Tell her what you just told me." Days. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I like, you know, um, yeah, it's uh, Valerie's pregnant. <clears throat> 
Her mother goes in this hole. I knew it. I knew it. Da 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 da. Da da. I don't remember. Da 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 da. She goes in this huge rant, and she's like, "Um, you guys have to get married. Like, you have to get married. I can't. No. Like, she goes in this whole big thing, and then she just leaves, and just leaves me alone with. Is your aunt. She's like, take care of my light work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, he said some other stuff. And the whole time I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm really doing this by myself. Like, you, you couldn't come down at all. So. So wait, did you leave the house? Did you yeah, talk to after, her? After, no, I didn't talk to her. I, she, I will not read your eyes. So, I will not read your eyes. So we, we talked for a little bit longer. Like, what are you guys going to do? What are you guys planning? Like, what's next? And I was like... Just oh. you and him. Yeah. I, I, was, I was for certain he was going to get up and deck me. <laughs> <clears throat> Which terrifies me because I feel like that's the, the full circle is going to come around. No. And pop me in the face. I I think no, my I think my girls on. are gonna be a lot better than that. Come on. Um. I I the hope is that they're better. It's not than that you being. guys are bad people though. No, right? we just, 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 just we're dumb. Yeah, oh. we're dumb. So all you gotta do is make sure you educate them. Which we try to. Disappointed you'll be. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So yeah. That, so still to this day, I, I harbor uh, some strong feelings about being left by myself to break the news. To and her you poor exited parents. the home without even a word with her. No, she did not come down from her stoop. She was like, "Nope." When I got home, I called her, and she was like, "How'd it go?" How'd it go? <laughs> she was like, "How'd it go?" <laughs> I was like, "You're gonna hear about it soon." And I, I'm pretty sure they. I don't remember what happened. It was a long, long time ago. Um, but yeah, it, shit was hard. I think that was one of the hardest conversations I've ever had in my life. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I go with that. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I, fuck. yeah. I think that conversation, and I'm gonna get real, real deep. Um, when we told the girls that we were breaking up, that we were divorcing, oh yeah, that was a hard conversation yeah. too. And they were, they were young. Yeah, and they weren't at an age where they no, they truly could, understood like, it. Grasp it. Yeah, yeah. but it was that was a difficult conversation to, to, and they were just like, oh, okay, can I go play now? But it was it was that was hard for me, Valerie, to have that talk. Mm. Oh. Damn, you don't live life, bro. Twenty one jobs. That's why I'm always tired, yo. Yeah, you earned it, yo. Right. You earned that sleep, right, yo. Right. All day, just sleep. Podcast, <laughs> podcast almost killed me last week. What we did? <laughs> oh, don't, don't come on, no, 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 don't play. I can't joke about that. <laughs> I can't joke about that. Jen, Jen, don't laugh. <laughs> that was alright. Don't laugh. I, after when I heard everything, when I when we put the whole scene together, it was yeah. like, oh, that that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's for another time. Oh my god! Another what, day, another yeah. channel. What are we talking about? We ain't even. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, we did something great on f- last Friday. Oh wow! We yeah, why is your it? thing going crazy? Yeah, no, yeah. Watch, it's like green underneath. Oh, is I don't it know. A mood ring? No, no, no. Is it's, that your heart rate? It's like thing? a sensor. I don't know. Huh. Everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's always there, but it is monitoring my heart rate. Too. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Um, but we it. did we did something amazing on Friday with our wonderful friend Chip Douglas. Yeah. yeah. Stars in line. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys were in the building. If you were not, you missed something amazing. It was really like. It was very dope. Man, we born and raised in Rhode Island, all three of us. Yeah. Um, well, been so. to a lot of shows. <laughs> <laughs> you right. My bad, yo. Disrespect. <laughs> Call him Diz from now on. <laughs> um, walking in, well, before we set up for the podcast, so many artists and people selling their apparel. Yes. All set up already. And yes. we got there early, and yeah. there was a ton of people there already. There was a lot of people. Man, it was so dope to see. Was- and all the way to the end of the show, and I've been to a ton of hip-hop shows, R&B shows, <clears throat> yo show, daddy show, road show, car show, all I that shit. I love car shows. Me too. Um, but... Usually at the end, a bunch of folks left, and there was a yeah. good amount of people mm-hmm. at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. Man, it was so dope to see, and it was in the ballroom <clears throat> of Fat, not in the smaller room. No, it, was it was in the ballroom. The ballroom was full. Yeah, it's poof. Um, yeah, we we got the chance to um, take some wonderful footage that we'll be sharing on our Instagram page soon. Uh, P L S D E L T H I S, and uh, the YouTube. Please YouTube delete this. Well. Yes. yes, you would get more content. The full um, full video. Yes. Uh, so we were, uh, we had a chance to interview artists, and me and Jen actually had the chance to <laughs> be among the people. <laughs> we descended from our our godly stoop, and um, it was it was really cool to be 
in like, the midst. Yes, to be surrounded by by all that talent. Um, literally, when we were like looking around, I'm watching somebody draw live. Mm. I wish we had a chance to talk to him, mm. but he was drawing live. Somebody else was like just break dancing. It was like talent was just like spewing everywhere. Yeah, and it was great to see. Um, and I saw my buddy Michelle. Hey, shout out to her. Um, and you interviewed her. Yeah. <laughs> so these are, before these are, these are my babies from Burger King. Yeah. Aww. Before I know. before we could even before Jen agreed to interview, there was like this whole back and. Back I said and I forth. wasn't going to interview. Yeah, she was like, "No, no, I'm not going to do it. You interview." And I was I'm like, "But this is your the, friend. I'm, I'm holding the camera." Yeah. Yeah, and but the, but she didn't realize what she was asking. So when she realized, she was like, "Oh no, no, I don't want to be on camera either." <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now you have the both of them like. <laughs> so, so it's only because of you that she actually did it, and then. it's only because of her that I did it. Oh, look at this! Say our word. Look at God. Look at God. <laughs> when stars align. Ah, yeah. You are good, Ben. Oh. You are good. <laughs> that was that was good. Yeah, was man. Good. You guys did good. Um, I was playing it back as I was editing, and um, I was just smiling like a. <laughs> I don't even know, man. Like the proud father. Nah, nah, because y'all ain't my kids. Fuck y'all. But I was happy, man. We didn't man. do this in his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Bim, stop <laughs> doing that. I'm a sperm. Stop, Darren. Jen. You see the tail? No. Which wins? Jen's doing the breaststroke. I'm doing the... Because we're going to be a boy twin and a girl twin. <laughs> See? Look. And we're going to get in that egg. Ty! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Besties for life! This is a rope. No. <laughs> um, yeah, no. <laughs> hate you both. Because it made us... It made me feel like that was a, a moment where we elevated mm. a little bit. Um, it, it, we were out of our element. Right. We were in a different scene. Mm. And especially the two of y'all, because... Jen, she don't want to talk to nobody like that, but she did it. Um, Darren, you were in the mix, probing, getting questions and chopping it up and laughing and giggling with people. <laughs> I was so giggly. I, I wish I could remember that, that, that woman's name. You'll, show, you'll see the interview. You'll see it. And we'll tag the person up too. And Darren um, being giggly. I was super giggly at the anime table. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I am home. But it, it, it like... I was listening to it and then playing it back and editing. I'm like, man, this is like another, like it's like another element, right? So then I feel like it's like, okay, we do the podcast and then we did that. We gotta do, we gotta do more. We gotta do more. Oh. So, Jen, yes, yes, oh. yes, Queen. So, and I think it was proof that we can do more. Oh, come on, yeah, come on. Um, you know, I'm gonna say for me, it was I, so. I, it takes a lot for me to think outside the box. Uh, and boxes that, that depending that wow. huh what wow wow <laughs> boxes are good to be in yeah wow I like being in the box <laughs> Why are you gonna do you like outside? the difficult conversation afterwards <laughs> with the dad <laughs> of the box <laughs> the dads of the box that doesn't sound right <laughs> <laughs> we do this to the dads of the box. We do this and then this. the dads of the box. You like that? Can that be the title? Can we Maybe. just get that out of the way? Wow. Maybe dads of the box. Um, so yeah, for me, for me, um, you know, unless it's something that I'm really interested in or I'm really comfortable with. It takes a bit for me to think outside the box. So mm. when I think artists or somebody drawing, I think, oh, they just draw whatever comes to their mind to draw, whatever they're interested in. And I say the first person we interviewed, I believe his name was James. Yeah. And he the was army a, vet, right? the, he was a veteran. Yeah. And I'm looking at his work and I'm like, ah, like I'd even I'm not putting the two together. Like I'm thinking you're a veteran, you're a soldier. That's not gonna cross over into the art world. And then when I saw it, I'm like, I guess it I guess it can. Mm. I guess I, you can think outside that box, Darren. <clears throat> so uh, to see like how his... Shaq was a rapper is a rapper is a rapper is Kobe nigga Chill. tell me how my ass is <laughs> <laughs> thanks Jen <laughs> such, oh, you thought I was going with Shaq so, food, uh, <laughs> such conviction in your Shaq taught me yeah Shaq taught me you Shaq taught you well <laughs> um, so to see the the his artwork and see how his veteran life and experiences come through in his artwork was like wow this is pretty this is very dope yeah um and it it went it goes the same for the other artists that we got to interview i believe that the other lady's name was ashley uh, or april angel I, no not angel oh, not i angel. like not, i like angel the the first lady <laughs> the first lady come on the shy one i couldn't hear anything that's either. right that's right jen couldn't hear uh the one who was like i know uh, who you're talking about okay cool um so her, uh, her work and she was on uh, displaying 
I believe she was uh, she is Cape Verdean, mm-hmm. and it was showing through in her artwork and what it meant to her. Yeah, and it was like ah, like I I get it. Like and I and it's great to see this talent overflowing. Yeah, um, I liked her because she was shy. Yeah, she was shy. like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's very dope, and I I, I want to applaud Chip Douglas for Absolutely. putting something like this together for artists to shine. Yeah, and and take that stage, and uh, it was great to see this the support there as well i think that was huge to see that you, anyway you worked walked around you couldn't tell that like the group of people was there for one artist or they were there for all of it right right and that was great to see oh. sometimes you go to a rap show and everybody and leaves after a particular after one, act yeah, yeah and that that blows uh so for everybody just to be there just to be like submersed in the culture to see people break dancing to, you know for you to look at that person like yeah what's break dancing got to do with this but hey you doing it? Have there's, fun doing it. There's music. Do what yeah. your body tell you to right. do, man. Just right. be in the moment. It's very, very dope. So shout out to Chip Douglas for putting together such a thing. So dope. Catch you with Chip Douglas show if you haven't already, man. Yeah. We tried to tell y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to all the people who stopped into the building who weren't even part of the show mm. uh, formally. Mm. And they, they came and they enhanced the show. Mm-hmm. Show enough. Um, Boo Boo came through. Yep. DJ Buck was in the building. Yep. No. Um, <clears throat> there's so many other people that just weren't even planned that way, and it just all worked out pretty dope. Because the stars aligned. You are right, Darren. You are right. And that's, I don't want to, like, we say the names, and we're like, okay. But this this is a big deal. Like, Demetrius Andre, Demetrius Bubo Andre, is the middleweight champion mm-hmm. of the world. Yes. Mm-hmm. Professional. They, they, we, tell me the last, what, Vinny Paz? Did he even have a title? He's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? a broken nose. Yeah, so, like, this is a big deal. And he was just there kicking it's, it. Just kicking it. Just casual. Just kicking it. DJ Buck, legendary DJ. Yeah. Casual. Kicking yeah. it. Like if, like, if people didn't say who that person is, a lot of people in the crowd wouldn't even we know because they were yeah. just blending in. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't like yeah. they had this big entourage. And no like, oh, security. Because they're, they're, right. they're home. They're home. They're home. And that's, that's a big deal. Yeah. Like this yeah. is home. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing what blossoms from that. The people that we saw perform, yes. who knows where they're going to go. Yes. Because mm-hmm. there was some the, talent, man. Yes. We, and we got the chance to sit down with some of that talent. Um, and like former friends, of, not former friends, but friends of the podcast, former guests, I should say. Mm. Boxana was in now. Uh, hey, and Hot and Ari, and, you. and just in case, you. And, um, you know, just the love was was astounding. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, look out on our YouTube channel, word. And Instagram, yeah. and Facebook for yeah. clips and the full video once it gets <clears throat> edited and beautiful and ready for you to see. Yeah, I'm hoping next week there'll be a little teaser on the Instagram. <laughs> a little teaser. <laughs> No, tease no tickle. Little Little play. (laughs) Yeah, man. Oh, look at that background picture. Oh, oh, you like it? Yeah, look at you guys. Oh, look, Jen, my friends. Oh, beautiful. Dial it up. Beautiful. You know she's Nigerian, right? She's a third, uh, three percent. Three percent. Just take it. Yeah, she said something. (laughs) I can't remember, but you know. Oh boy. We're talking today. And she says to me, Oh, I think I saw this. You know, <laughs> she said, You know, you never apologized for being mean to me the night before our wedding. Huh? I said, Huh? <laughs> what? 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 The night I, the I wedding? sat up, I was in the car, I was like, What, what are you saying? What? For the people. <laughs> How long y'all been married? Because I've been getting Facebook memories recently. It's going. It's, it's approaching five years. Bro, you were with me the night before your wedding. So before that, at the rehearsal, <laughs> yeah, you didn't really tell. Pause. Nobody could really tell. Yeah, first, of all. I was with you. No, no pause. Not just me. It was I was a few of us. Yes, oh. I was with a bunch of guys the it, night before my gang, wedding. Gang, gang, gang. Right? Shout out to my cousin Neri. He hates when I say this, but me and him slept together the night before our wedding. It's cute. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> we were both snoring. He hates when I tell him, like, hey, stop with you the night before my wedding. What can I say? It's true, cousin. <laughs> so, uh, leading up to the wedding, you know, and you're, you're going to get there, right? And I hope it's not as bad. But as you approach the, your wedding day, you're just naturally going to butt heads. Like, you're stressed mm. out. Like, we're planning and everything else. Anybody who's getting married or anybody who's gotten married recently can probably attest to this. Um Leading up to it, you're just you're. There's so much going on with life, with planning this wedding that you're just gonna naturally bump heads and not like each other. Mm. I'm dealing right now with uh, a couple of our friends, and uh. and they're butting heads now. It's <laughs> hilarious because obviously we've been there. We know the night the rehearsal, uh, the night before the wedding at the rehearsal, we were butting heads, mm. and it was like yo, like when before I left her and you know, to go chill with you guys, I was like yo, I don't, I don't really want to see you right now, like. 
And she's like, come on, be nice to me. Come on. I was like, no, no, no. I don't leave me alone. <laughs> right. And then you go see her walking down the aisle right, next. Right. And then, <laughs> and then cry. And then cry. Cry my eyeballs out at the side of her coming down the aisle. But it's natural. It's going to happen. Brother Vim, like, just trying to take it to heart. Just just realize that it's just because of the wedding planning. She's going to get on your nerve. Yeah. She is annoying. That's yeah. what he she said. She is annoying. I wasn't talking about her, though. I wasn't talking about her. Almost got you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so she decides in that moment to bring that up. So I'm like, ah, I'm still waiting for. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have. A, I'm still waiting for apology war. Oh shit! Yeah. Nigga. You'll yeah. lose. Yeah. You'll lose. I lost ready. I lost ready. So then she was like, all right, all right, I'm sorry. I did this and this and that. And I was like, No, I don't want it anymore. It's fake. <laughs> it's fake. Uh, I don't want it anymore. You're just supposed. To, you're just supposed to make yours fake and call it a day. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize if I don't mean it. All right. <laughs> yeah. You're right. <laughs> it broke my rule. Let me go say sorry now. <laughs> um, oh, but yeah. This is good. Yo, we've been rolling and I ain't had shit to talk about. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. I love uh, this. How well this is I going. seen an article yesterday. Article? Article. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, Jen. The midgets? Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. I, I don't even know where I wasn't going, going there yet. Oh, the thing you was. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't going there yet. Is that the right term? <laughs> no. And Darren's waddling with like one. <laughs> no, Lord. That's karma. I was done. Woo. That is karma. It's just quick, Ben. We told you it was real. <laughs> What's the right term? Little person. Okay, can we say that, or dwarf. please? dwarf. Can we say the one? I'm not saying either one because we're not talking about that. Oh, so what you say? Well, when you're done talking about that, <laughs> I'm going to talk up? about... <laughs> All right, cool. Cue it up. I saw this article... <laughs> About some guy who had this rare syndrome that causes him to produce alcohol in his own gut. What? Whenever yeah, yeah. he ate carbs. Yep, yep. And so, like, he's getting arrested for DUIs and stuff Aww. and losing his job and shit. But they, Aww. you know, he's like, I didn't have a drink. And, of course, the dude, the breathalyzer, like, you're drunk. You know what I mean? Aww. And it's fucking up his life. He but he to... doesn't actually show the symptoms of being intoxicated, does he? No, he's intoxicated. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. But his body just naturally makes it. it turns it's... the carbohydrates into... into... Uh, yeah, ferment. because he took ferment. some kind of something. No, not from all that. Uh, no, no. It it's... ferments it? it kinda... Yeah. Uh, it, yes, it, it, it from, from the, the legions the... of fermenting microbes dutifully turn the sugar into that food or drink into ethanol. Yo. Leading to extreme blood alcohol levels. Fuck. Because he took an antibiotic at some point. And it can never go to Panera. <laughs> <laughs> and um, something in the antibiotics messed up the balance of the bacteria that, you know, regulates his stomach. So And that's him for life. No, but oh. he didn't know at first. Uh. So he would like eat pizza and then drive somewhere. Fuck. And be drunk. Wasted. Yeah. <laughs> this shit went on for years because he kept trying to tell people, like, oh. I haven't been drinking. And then finally, like, some of his family saw it on TV and was like, yo, you know. And he still said it and the people didn't really believe it at first. And then he went to a doctor or something. And they were like, yo. That's the thing. All right, we're going to monitor your blood alcohol levels that you eat. So they were like, gave him food and just kept measuring it. And apparently he was getting drunk Fuck. from eating bread. Could you imagine? That's crazy. You know how much bread I eat? You're out of your mind. <laughs> More. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe, mm. maybe that's what you got. Mm. Jen, you stumbled you stum- you stum- you stum- you stum- onto something. <laughs> <laughs> Police officer? I got it. I got it. Everybody relax. Uh, I know <laughs> what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. <laughs> Jury strike this from the record. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's wild. That's but then crazy. They had to put him on, like, different... Um, probiotics and other shit uh-huh. and so we can you know, rebalance him but he kept drinking like actual alcohol oh, <laughs> oh okay <laughs> all right <laughs> like he was supposed to, i guess he needed to not drink for a certain amount of time for this to take effect but, but he was fucking you, it up. you didn't know how long he needs to not drink mm-hmm. so then finally he did he took, did a thing for like a year yeah like fungal treatment or some shit i actually feel bad for that's right? fucked up imagine yeah. you have a delicious pizza oh. and then you get pulled over Man, you when you're home. But he, you, you know. know. No. Yeah, I, I love peanut butter and jelly. I'd be all fucked up. You go oh. somewhere and order a pasta. <laughs> Bless I you. Enjoy myself Make at you. work. I love. <laughs> I'm be having a grand last thing time I need is to be work. drunk at work. That's literally the last thing I need. Mm. Yeah, no, none of that shit. Mm-mm. Uh, what were you gonna say about the? Um, before we get to the little people. Uh, <laughs> Well, Are we one. really doing this? Nope. <laughs> I, I am. All right. Before <laughs> before we get to that, Jen shared an article, and I keep seeing it pop up on the timeline. Uh, Mr. Messenger, 
Huh? Was Mr. Messenger, the delivery company, was... Um, oh, I thought that was what you were talking about. Delivered a 65-inch oh, TV, TV to the wrong address. Mm-hmm. I used to work for FedEx, so I know it's super popular. Super 21 jobs, right? 21. We should really be taking a tally. I didn't know FedEx was part of it. I didn't either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck, fam. How long was that did, one? did I send you the list or did I show you the number? I you just told us the yeah. number. Oh, okay. I'll send you the list next time. <clears throat> send it to us, please, so we can put it on our Instagram. <laughs> Honestly, that's compelling content right there. All right. <laughs> so, they delivered the TV to the wrong address. Person that lived there gladly took the TV. I don't, I don't think they were home. Mm-hmm. So, f- number one, why would you leave a 65 inch TV they on somebody's stoop? Fuck. What did they do with your speakers? They, de- they definitely left it right on, my, on the stoop. There you go. So, <clears throat> person is inside the house, says, Oh, got me a TV, brings it in the house, <laughs> uses it. Company says, Shit, we took it to the wrong address. It goes back to the address and they say, Hey, you need that TV back. And the guy's like, Nope. Mm-mm. Finders keepers, losers weepers. They keep so now they get the police involved. Police goes to the house, sir. We need the television back. No, no, no. Find out the person inside is a former detective, <laughs> which makes it funnier. Providence police. Providence police. <laughs> so, Fucking dirtbag. Right. So the, the police is like, "You gotta give it back, sir. You gotta give it back." And they're like, "No, no, no, no. I broke no laws. They gave. They put it to me on my stoop. It is mine now." They go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finally, the guy agrees to, re- to return the TV. Of course. Now, we ask a question on our Instagram page and our Facebook page as well. Would you give the TV back? And I'm gonna, but majority of the people said that they would. Everyone said they would give it back. Yeah. I think. I oh. think I would give them such a hard time about giving it back, too. I would give it back. But I'd be like, hmm. But what would this hard time look like? Like, say you. You throw I don't... blender at them. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, man. Shit. Those blender. <laughs> you know what's great about us? I love listening. And then when we say something, and then it goes completely quiet. <laughs> it's like. Silence. Let me tell you something. Jack. Jack. <laughs> oh, Whenever fuck. I think of the get out of here, man, I get so happy. <laughs> get out of here, man. Shit. Shut up your mouth. <laughs> the combination of that and throwing a blender. <laughs> Again, if those, if, if you do a blender and it hit their face, they watch the blender come in their face. <laughs> so... Yeah. Assault. Right. You're a smoothie criminal. So hi, <laughs> Jen. I'm off the rails, guys. Jen. Oh my eyes. You've been hit by. Hey. You've been hit by a smoothie, smoothie criminal. Do, 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 do. Ah. No. <laughs> he said you've been hit by. You've been struck by. <laughs> Your bib's done. Bim's we snorted. broke bib. <laughs> Bib is, Bim Bim is blue screened over there. <laughs> the blue oh, screen of death over there. Yo, oh my god. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> Dude, yo. I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Folks, I feel it. I if see you're listening it. I to this, see, I see what's going. Make sure you go to our Instagram page. I will not sleep tonight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Until I make that damn, video. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Any, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh shit. So yes, <clears throat> I. I probably would be like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I didn't get any TV. Oh. Now, what would happen if he said that? Can we come in your house and look? No. They wouldn't ask that. You don't have a warrant. No. Yeah. yeah. I, don't know have, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't oh, Because fuck. I actually did. I don't know. I don't wasn't a TV, but I definitely dropped off a package somewhere. I was like, oh, shit. And tried to go back and the package was gone. And I was like, well, the I'm, co- not, I'm not knocking on these people's door. The cocky fuck probably said, and they probably said, oh, uh, yes, sorry. We mistakenly left the TV there. You probably said, yeah, so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure that's how it went. I don't and he's know like, yeah, I'm not giving it to you. What I don't do you know. Yeah, probably yeah. did. Had it mounted and shit already. Right, right. I would still I, got the damn package on. <laughs> the, the package, the, 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 the plastic, plastic be like tape right there. Nah, he threw the package on right in, in front of his house. He got that big box. <laughs> put it, put it on the side. Yo, man. Oh, I saw, shit. but a lot of people are not on our 
um, posts, but on the original posts, a lot of people were like, if anybody's going to lose, it's the delivery company. Yeah. Yeah. So, but why it, it's not yours? Just fucking give it back. Like, see, and they see, know it that you have it. Like, it's... so here's the thing: morally and ethically, obviously, give the TV back. Yeah. All right. But, 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 you know what we always say: there's always a price, right? What if instead of a TV, somebody dropped a box of money mm. or something? You know what I mean? Oh, or what if it was something smaller? Look at Jen. Mm. What if it's something smaller, like not quite a TV, but. Mm. They left mm. five hundred dollars. Oh, like a nice pair of sneakers that you like or something. Something, something small. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, or like mm. a, a box of headphones, like some AirPods or some shit. Like, just... and the other thing is, because I was thinking about it from the other end. What if I deliver a package to Bim's house? Mm-hmm. Right. I'm I'm Bim's friend. <clears throat> it's Christmas time. I mail him a gift. Right. He gets to his house. Oh shoot! Jen mailed me a pair of headphones. Awesome. He goes in the house. Mm. Some random person comes, knocks on his door and goes, oh, that package that was here, that wasn't for you. That was for me. Mm. You're right. Do you just give it up? No. No, it was at my house. It's clearly my package. Mm. It's clearly my, but. This one would have somebody else's name on it, though. Yeah. But what, right? sometimes people don't look at the name. If it's a package on my front steps. That is true. True. It's, it's my package. That's yeah. true. That's true. Mm. Mm. You know? So, yes, obviously when you know the whole backstory and you know it all. It makes it easy. It's, to, it's easy to be mm. like, yeah, I get the TV back. I've I've kept mad shit that I found. <laughs> Yo, Jen's face was like <laughs> money, especially. I'll ask my immediate area. Yo, did somebody drop forty dollars? It happened at one of Dylan's games. I was like, Yo, ask a few of the dads. One of the dads said, "It's yours now." Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. So, now, an hour later, <laughs> some random person comes up and goes, "I lost some amount of money over here." Did you find it? Give me the money in your pocket. And you're like, whoa. No, nah, that's not happening. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, if a certain this amount is, of time yeah. goes by, um, and if it's like, if it was $17 and somebody said, I dropped $17, I'd be like, That's specific. Right. This is your like, money. But somebody just said, I dropped money and yeah, they're I'm not, not giving any yeah. details. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't running my pockets. Like, what you <laughs> about? I'm looking for money too every day. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean, blood? I'm losing money too every day. <laughs> <sighs> I love us. Uh, I love us. So once again, obviously you give the TV back, but yeah. you know there's situations where it wouldn't be that obvious. Yeah, and, and you, I think it's obvious because we know the story. Um, yeah, and he's a, being a cop, you're yeah, yeah, moral as a cop code. So yeah, you yeah, can take some, that oath, right? Yeah, like, if you're a cop, off duty cop, and you find money. What do you do? Mm. <laughs> you say I ain't in law enforcement, right? <laughs> yeah, <I'll> be, <laughs> if I, mean, I was in uniform, you know, be... <laughs> my body cam camera is on. What? Just, just put some tape over this <laughs> camera real quick. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I love picking flowers. <laughs> Fuck that. You know what's that must suck? Being the cop who, who gets called to the scene when an armored trucks lose all that money. And you gotta drive up. <laughs> Fam. And not touch a dime. And, and it's tell and people, yellow people, uh, give that money give back. That money. Hey, you, you stop you. running away no, with that man, money. Yo, man. <laughs> you with the money coming I'd out of your crotch. Such Come a here. Ter- terrible cop. I'd be like, ah, well. And I'm always curious about, like, because we see it in the movies all the time, the drug bus, where you roll up in a room and there's, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars just take a- neatly packaged and stacked like Tetris. Damn. It's a Jenga. Like Jenga. And you're supposed to just... Yeah, we reported $1.5 million found. I mean, one point one <laughs> I mean, $1.4 million <laughs> found. <laughs> Three hundred dollars, thousand dollars worth of one point two, one point three. Come on, man. One point five. You ain't no fun, man. Shit, this guy. Uh, not a twenty. Because it sits in evidence, don't it? They don't put it back in circulation or some shit. Somebody, it's, somebody's gonna benefit off that money. It's not gonna be the people who collect it. It's not going back to the people who who got it. Yeah, um, what the fuck does it even happen with whatever. that? So it just sits until somebody says, "Oh, I need this for." A bus. I know cops. I should ask. Them. <clears throat> They're gonna we tell should you interview that they a don't cop. Take but what uh, happens with when they don't take it? It just sits in evidence. Like uh-uh. I know a cop. I've been asking this weekend. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't think I want to be around a cop. No, 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 Tito. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It doesn't help you, but Bim knows uh, Tito. Yeah. Um. So. But he says name. What if he says no? Now everybody knows Tito the cop. Doesn't well, he's not a cop. He's not a cop anymore. He retired. Did he? Yeah. That's quick. Yeah. Pension and shit. <laughs> Comfortable. 
Uh, I don't get him. into it. God yeah, bless. good for him. Uh, so also, I think we can end with this. Yeah, yeah. We did good, guys. We did really good. Look at Jeremy's gonna play that two clip. I am. <laughs> don't end like this. <laughs> Since you didn't want to pick up on the cues, <laughs> oh, just wanted to warn you. That's my fault. Damn it. I didn't. Yeah, we'll I didn't. It. I you didn't want to. No, you need you, you do it yourself. <laughs> Gotta do it. Let me do it. Yeah. <clears throat> um. <laughs> 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 so it sounds like outside your your bathroom. I'm bet it doesn't sound as bad nowadays. I can get in the shower without the crutches. Wow, get in there, guys. Sounds dangerous. Come on. <laughs> uh, so it is. A uh, I'm gonna read the caption of this video because it makes me laugh. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All heights matter. Oh. So it starts. <laughs> Person says, "Don't mind me. I fell down a little woman." A uh, hashtag little woman Atlanta rabbit you, hole. You know the, the show, right? I didn't know it was a show. Yes, it's Until a show. This. Yes. Little Women Atlanta. I said woman. Uh, at the gym last night, and I've been watching highlights from the past season on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> this, I, I need to watch the show because uh, I usually don't like the whole arguing back and forth about this and that and that and that. But there is one, two, three, four. I don't even like the fact that Darren's the one describing this clip. Jen, take it away because no, you started No, I said this. I wasn't talking about it. All right. Yeah, so there's, there's, okay, there's a woman who's arguing that. She is, <laughs> a, what is the right word, word, right, right word for this? It's little person. Little person. So they're using the word dwarf. Dwarf. They're saying she's not a, um, she's not a dwarf. Medically she's proven just, dwarf. Yeah. She's just short. She's just short. <laughs> she has a big head to me. So she looks. <laughs> <laughs> so she looks like a little person. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'll just I'll play the clip so you can hear. <laughs> I'm so tired of meaning this is not a competition. I'm a little person because I'm tiny. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. So I don't think a piece of paper uh with a doctor trying to diagnose me of something is gonna change. I mean I feel like change a lot about. because when I found out that I'm an A car, did you okay. grow? Did it make you taller when you found out? No, it didn't. Yeah. I think we have to talk over this so we don't get flagged. <laughs> Darren, <laughs> Judd sent it to us, and I had so many questions. <laughs> Judd said, don't talk about it. It's bigger than us. Don't talk about it. <laughs> don't talk about it. But I can't help it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm terrible with words. I'm no wordsmith. But she said, the doctor tried to... Diagnose her. <laughs> All right. Dognas, she said. <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> Shit. So, I guess the argument from these these young ladies that oh. this woman she refuses to go get herself the the what do you call it the DNA thing the DNA test that people do to find out if they're from Africa and the Europe. DNA test the genetic the, test yeah what do you call that shit I don't know you know Bim <laughs> no this shit. The what? ancestry. She refuses to get the dwarf version of ancestry DNA <laughs> done, and they're asking her, "Are you one of us or not?" She's like, "I don't need to go find out. I'm little. I'm little person. I'm, that should it. be good enough. That's it." They were like, "No, but if you ain't like dwarf, dwarf, because <laughs> there's a you? height requirement." So no, and they, they, yeah, yeah, and she's mm. over the height requirement, right? I don't think so. I think the height is four or five. And what was she? Four or five. Um, but they're probably saying like you have like. They said her extremities look. Yeah, normal. I was gonna say like she had no more arms. Yeah, Darren, please, you have the worst stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen. <laughs> He's one step away from being like, yeah, she's not like a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I didn't know. I was, <clears throat> so after watching the clip multiple times and noticing that their feet were swinging under the table. <laughs> 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 Ladies funny. and gentlemen, this has been episode 30, 85. Thank I don't even know Jen. what number. Thank you, Jen. Please, <laughs> please take it away. Episode We're 85. Not done! Shout out to our sponsors, <laughs> Just Right Entertainment. We haven't shouted them out in a while. 
Um, we haven't done shout outs at the end of the show in like 60 episodes. We used to be about something. <laughs> we used to be shouting out kids playing chess and shit. <laughs> now look at us. Off the fucking rails. You don't shout out nothing beautiful no more, Darren? You used to have such meaningful shout outs. He did, though. Both of you. And then I would always be third and be like, yo, I have nothing meaningful. I don't care about the world no more. Yo. <laughs> you know what I've listened to? What I've been listening to a lot of Dionne Warwick. Oh, look at you. She got a lot of gems. Hmm. Give me a few names. Say a little prayer for you. Oh, oh, I forgot that was her. Oh, uh, shit. Do you know the song that Usher did? Um, You're going to want me back, whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. That's Dionne Warwick. Really? Yeah, it's not even like another person. Like, he literally ripped it from her song. It's exactly how her song is. And he just ra- he oh, just he, sang he it over He covered it. <gasps> That's oh. her. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Didn't mm-hmm. know that. Wow. So we're just not going to talk about... Nope. <laughs> okay, with deep dive, no, did no, you no, have... No, 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 no. Did you have something more I on that, just, I mean, I understood the argument. Oh, you, you get it? Oh, no, really? So you're I, on the I, side I, of the other women? I, I understand. And I don't even think they were saying, like, you can't be a part of our group. Just like, don't like. be claiming that you are. Mm, don't a claim crip if you yeah, ain't. If you, you ain't if you ain't been mm. tested, if you have no problem. Where's your paperwork? Tested, yeah, you, but, you shouldn't have a problem but getting. Whether or not she's diagnosed as a dwarf or if she's just short, she has the same exact problems that they have. She can't reach it. She said that. She, she said, said that. that. Yeah. She said, when I go to Walmart, I can't reach the top shelf neither. But that's not the only problem they face. I don't know what else problem they face. I would have to watch. But her, tell you. yeah, whether she's two inches taller or the same height or whatever, yeah, yeah life don't change that much for her. <laughs> <laughs> life don't change that much. Yeah, nah, she got a point. She got a point. Like you can't. That's I mean, like that's like that's like Darren. Unless there's certain things genetically with dwarfism. And that's what I think. That there, there's some, that, yeah. They, they Unless there's something else. But even <clears> still, <throat> okay, that's like why Clef and Prize telling Lauren Hill she can't be with them because she's not Haitian. Did they, I thought did, Proz was Jamaican, to be honest. No? Proz is not he's Jamaican. Haitian. He's Haitian. He's Haitian? I know they're cousins. But Proz, well. was, Who's cousin? I believe Wyclef from Proz. So, if so, fact, I, but It could be marriage. It could be something Quid else. Quid pro quo. Mm-hmm. Quid pro quo. <laughs> Anyways. Quid no pro. <coughs> they still could be cool. They, yeah. I mean, I, and I, that's what I'm saying. The little people could still be friends <laughs> just because she ain't a dwarf. Oh, they mean? weren't trying to rock with her on the little people show because yeah. like, you ain't, you ain't oh, even. You out here collecting a check and you ain't mm. even one of us? That, that's collecting what, a check. You out here collecting a reality check? <laughs> I think you meant the other check because when they get the. Oh, shit. <laughs> the one. All right, cool. <laughs> I meant the TV show. Cool. <laughs> you, you managed to top me? So we're at the there. I'm not, I didn't say the worst thing yet. I, I didn't see. I didn't see. No I didn't see. <laughs> swim, find me another egg. Guys, this, this was Ryan. All right. <laughs> this was Ryan. It's Ryan. Egg. Guys, thank you so much for listening and rocking with us. Uh, <laughs> stay, be sure you follow us on social media platforms to see clips from our no. night at When Stars oh, yes, Line. That. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, and broke also, me today. <laughs> we did blue screen a bib. <laughs> um, P L S D E L T H I S. You can still be our friend. <laughs> Thank on, you. On Even Instagram, on Twitter, you're not random. a dwarf. <laughs> on YouTube, please leave this. <laughs> please Even though fuck, you're bald, please leave this. <laughs> Make sure you listen to us on your favorite podcast streaming app, such as oh. Spotify, Speaker, iHeartRadio, iTunes Podcast. I can't, do this I can't do this anymore. App. <laughs> <laughs> Nose mom's, gets it. Mom, mom's the word. <laughs> you guys have a good weekend. We'll talk to you next week. No, we won't. Fuck both of y'all, man. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs>